Dangerous, the most dangerous man here. <laughs> this is the one that you see the shadow in the back of the room. He is the one that we're all afraid of. He's the one directing traffic. He's pulling the shots. He is the most dangerous. This ain't a dude. No more interviews with him, no fly zone. Yeah. Yeah, your boy. No fly zone. <laughs> For sure. For sure. <laughs> Old block yeah. members, Mama Duke, Bleach, Shoebox Baby, and a few other members did an interview with DJ U. And this is why you guys gotta watch the interviews all the way through, or whatever video you guys is watching. You gotta watch the whole video, right? Sometimes I get people asking me questions that if they watch the whole video, they get the answer to, right? So towards the end of the video, literally like the last seconds, you can hear when Bleach tells DJU that boy's not welcome, no fly zone. Talking about Charleston White. He said, don't do that again, man. That dude can't come back over here. And Charleston White got a problem, man. He's doing a whole lot of disrespecting. He disrespected King Vaughn's mom. He disrespected King Vaughn. And we all know that Oblock gets real sensitive when you're dissing the fallen soldiers, especially people like King Vaughn, T. Roy, you know what I mean? We all seen what happened to FBG Duck when they had enough money to, you know, drop a bag on FBG Duck's head for dissing T. Roy and any and any other Oblock members that passed away, right? So Gleesh tells DJ you don't fly zone, don't let that happen again. That dude's not welcome in Iraq. Like let's, we're not gonna talk about him, we're not gonna give him the clout, you know what I mean? Ask you all because I had to get the whole city of Chicago reaction, but I ain't got the old block reaction yet to the Charleston White disrespect. Man, can't only want to tell you. Yeah, about we ain't gonna talk about that. Yeah, we ain't gonna talk about that. Yeah, you should be left. That's your boy, right ain't it? That's your boy. That's your boy. You should be left. That's your boy. Ain't even gonna talk about <laughs> boo. Yeah, nah. Hey, folks, yeah, yeah. talk about skip the quest, man. You probably close enough to be on a no fly zone to do any interview. Wow. Say that. Is it true that he got three people locked up from Oblock, though? I don't know. Look, folks, so that me and my boy, stop asking about him. <laughs> Say that. Stop asking about him. Ignore him. But Duke, man, let me tell you something about Duke. This is one of the realest interviews. I've seen somebody do it a long time, right? Anytime they talked about any street activity, any questions came up, you can hear him talking about, nah, I don't do that. That's not me. What are you talking about? Like, the funny thing is they did a 19-minute interview with DJU, got a bag for that shit, and answered minimum questions, right? Regardless, DJU still won't get the views off of it and hopefully make his money back. That kept the interview clean and simple, you know what I mean? They didn't answer too many crazy questions. And you can tell DJU was really trying to get messy, but they didn't allow that shit to go down like that. So I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about some of these interviews that I be seeing sometimes. It's like the truth teller interview, right? You see King Vaughn's brother Louis, Louis V, right? You see him pretty much like barely not answer anything, man. Like they, they, like they agreed to the interview. They answered two, three questions. Tell you the same answer for every other question and then walk out the door. Like, what's up was it that you jumped off the porch and, and, and got involved in street activities? What type? I ain't, I ain't in no street activities. Right. You know? Like, what you mean? Like, rephrase the question. <laughs> like, what, what, around what age did you jump off the porch and get introduced to the street life? Uh, shit. I don't even know. I can't <laughs> tell you. Cause when I was doing my research, I did see that you had a lot of run-ins with the law. With the police? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Is that a chapter that's in the past, or? Oh yeah, that's over it. Yeah. I, ain't, I ain't on that type of time. Some of these bloggers is getting finessed by these rappers, man. I'm not interviewing somebody who's barely gonna give me anything. You know what I mean? That's gonna be juicy enough. I'm not gonna interview somebody who's repeating the same two words every two seconds. Like, you know? Yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, you know? It, I mean, it is, you like, you know, it's, it's the same everywhere, you know? <laughs> every two seconds, like, you know what I mean? Like, no, we're not doing that. Yeah. I would be so Free all the ones that need to be free, man, you know? Yeah. 
Say that. Yeah, yeah. Mañana. Mm, free the ones that really need to be free. Hey, my boy, hit me. Keep this in there. Dude, no more interviews with him, no fly zone. Yeah. Yeah, your boy. No fly zone. <laughs> For sure. For sure. Yeah. I gotta be the most underrated nigga in these YouTube streets, man. I gotta be. Subscribe, like, and comment in this bitch. Join the movement. Let's get it. Omega Drip exclusive. I'm a great nigga. Last shit I like Blaze, nigga.